Hey everyone, it's Brian here with Two Turntables and a Guy. Uh, I want to share some information with everybody. Here's what's been going on. I've been trying to change over from using my Pioneer DVJs to something like Virtual DJ for my music video shows. Um, two, reasons, two main reasons why. Number one, my DVD library is just getting out of control. It's getting more and more difficult and time consuming to keep up on uh, the databases so I make sure that everything's available if I search for it or making custom DVDs so I have everything a little more convenient um, and not have to dig through the, the DVD crates, I guess. Um, <clears throat> number two, nothing really against the, the, the Pioneer DVJs. I mean, they've performed outstanding for me. Uh, used and abused them every weekend since I got them. I've had them for a number of years. But the one complaint I do have is load time. Uh, when you load a DVD in them, it, it, it doesn't take forever, but it feels like it takes forever for the song to load, for your hot cues to load, you know, things of that nature. And if you're trying to pull off a quick mix, um, unless you pre-planned everything and, and burned your own custom DD, DVDs and have everything right there and ready to go, um, it could be a little bit of a pain in the butt. So I just thought, you know, why not see what else is out there? So I've been experimenting with Virtual DJ, and I've been having some issues it, mainly with either song skipping or it seemed like the, the hardware that I was using um, would all of a sudden stop. The song would stop or I'd have just little glitchy issues like that. And I did a lot of troubleshooting, uh, found out that it may be a latency issue. And it's, it's easy to start pointing fingers at, you know, oh, the software sucks or the hardware sucks or whatever. Well, really what I found out is neither one of them appear to suck. <laughs> it's something with the laptop and and I think that's one of the challenges we have as DJs now as more and more DJs are going over to laptops we've got to tweak these laptops and make them work for what we need them to work for and and out of the box they're not necessarily set up for that so I did a lot of checking around uh, on the internet trying to search different forums and find something that would work so I could get to the root of the the problem and try to correct that problem and that's what I want to show you right now so first of all I just want to show everybody what setup I'm working with here, and forgive the disastrous mess here. I've just had this set up as more of a, a workshop this week, so I could get through everything. I've got the laptop here. It's an Asus with um, a Virtual DJ running on it. I don't remember the exact specs on the laptop, but I know it's it's a lot more than what's needed for um, to run Virtual DJ. I've got the Denon DNX1600 mixer, mainly for the fact that that crossfader right there can be MIDI mapped to the crossfader up here so I can have video crossfades with that mixer. Now, that crossfader can also be linked through V-Link. This mixer has V-Link built in and that means that I can link it to my Ederol V4 video mixer and control the crossfader on that as well. So with those options right there, it was I was sold on the unit plus it's got built-in effects and everything else and built-in sound card. It's been a, a, a very good mixer for the time that I've had it. Um, Newmark V7s, got two of those, and like I said, Virtual DJ. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna pause the camera real quick, and I'm gonna get a different screen up and show you what I did to get this thing running to where I eliminated all uh, music stopping, skips, everything else, and I'm not guaranteeing this is gonna work for your system. And, and by all means, if you're not very computer savvy, you may wanna take it into a professional but I was willing to take the risk myself and the reward uh, was great so far. Um, I've been testing this out all week with no issues and I'll be taking it to the show this weekend using it both uh, Friday night, Saturday night and testing it live. So here we go. Okay, so what you're looking at here is called the DPC Latency Checker and it's version 1.3.0. And if you notice that green bar is scrolling across the bottom and there's also yellow above that and then red above that. What you want to have happen with your laptop is you want to keep that in the green. That means that you don't have any latency issues that could cause performance problems. Now when I open this up, um, it, it tells me right here, this machine should be able to handle real-time streaming of audio and or video data without dropouts. Now there's another screen, and, and forgive me, I don't remember how to get back there, but it tells you that certain uh, hardware, uh, certain things on your laptop can cause audio or video dropouts, and what it wants you to do is go into your device manager, 
and start disabling things one by one while this is running and see if you do have any yellow or red spikes see if you could if you turn something off if it'll drop down and just stay green like this now it's important to show you too I've got this up I've got some tracks loaded in virtual DJ so I've got one playing I've got one one playing with the audio out here one playing through the headphones I'm watching the latency here not having any issues I can move crossfaders you know just try some of the different functions that are MIDI mappable to make sure that you're not make sure you're not having any issues here now let me show you real quick this is what I found to affect mine right here under device manager and I don't know if you can see it or not but I'll definitely let you know what it is it's called Microsoft ACPI compliant control method battery from what I've been able to find on the internet it's basically a battery monitoring and, and management um, function or I, I don't know what exactly to call it yeah I'm not a big computer expert but I, I know enough to be dangerous I'll tell you that much so anyway um, I went in and disabled this. I tried, you know, Wi-Fi adapters and, and some of the other things, um, sound cards, like the sound card in the, in the laptop since I'm using an external sound card. None of them seemed to really have an effect on the red bars or the red spikes that I was getting, regardless of if I had it on or off. But this bad boy right here uh, definitely had an effect on it. And if I go, if I double click it, hit driver, It'll give me some options here, driver details up there, driver rollback, driver enable and uninstall. Um, it, it was enabled, so it said disable. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to enable it again. And then let's go back to that latency checker. Now you can see here, that's probably when I activated it. But let's just watch it and see what happens. Um, ah, here's, here's the other thing here. Well, first of all, spiked up to red that's with that device running and that right there is most likely what was causing my issues when I was trying to run virtual DJ with the Newmark V7s and the, the Denon 1600 you can see it again pops up again now it, it says here some device drivers on this machine behave bad and will probably cause dropouts in real-time audio and or video streams to isolate the misbehaving driver Use Device Manager and disable or re-enable various devices one at a time. Try network and wireless adapters, um, internal sound devices, USB host controllers, etc. Now this is why I say if you're not very computer savvy, you may want to take it into somebody that knows what they're doing. You could even tell them about this DPC latency checker, explain to them you know, that you're using it for DJ purposes, see if they can help you. Um, they may know things that you should start disabling and, and obviously things you shouldn't disable. And that's why I say, I'm not saying go in and do this. Um, <laughs> I guess do it at your own risk. I don't want any comments down below saying, hey, my laptop won't turn on now. But you can see here, it keeps spiking up in the red and the yellow. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back, double click it again, driver, disable. It's going to ask you to confirm that you want to disable it. Yes disabled hit OK now let's go back to the latency checker let's let it run for a little bit and this is probably about the point where it turned off and as you can see it's now staying in the green no more spikes to the yellow no more spikes to the red so something as simple as that which from what I could find on the internet is just for um, monitoring, monitoring your battery performance and, and the management of your battery performance which as DJs we probably aren't using at the shows anyway we have this thing plugged in something like that can affect um, the, the, the quality of, of virtual DJ or whatever hardware you're using uh, because really it's, it's within the laptop it's causing it's conflicting with everything else that's going on and it's causing those issues so as we can see it's been running for a while staying green like I said, I've been testing this all week. I haven't had a single issue since I did this. And I'll be trying to run these straight uh, for two straight four-hour shows this weekend. 
and I'll definitely report back if there's any additional issues. I'll put a link in the video for the latency checker uh, so you can go to the, the site and download it. And if I find any uh, information again on the uh, Microsoft ACPI compliant control method battery, I'll try to post a link to that as well. Uh, it may not be that on everybody's laptop or everybody may not have that, but there could be other things that are conflicting with uh, virtual DJ, not only virtual DJ, virtual DJ, Serato, Tractor, whatever you're using, it could be conflicting with it on your laptop and if you can correct that you shouldn't have any issues going forward. So, hope this information was helpful and as always everybody, practice and enjoy.